po 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 hello to you hello electric riders Lexi here back again yeah we're heading to the Harley Davidson dealer here in Switzerland but it's pretty messy weather you see uh, wet roads and yeah cloudy so whatever I want to give you just a review on the little bit nerd talk about my experience with the electric motorcycle Harley Davidson live wire and yeah for this purpose let's have a stop right here for example <laughs> So, testing off-road capabilities. <laughs> and yeah, ABS also works pretty good. <laughs> so, here we are. <sighs> yeah. It's cloudy, it's raining. Best weather conditions to do a review, <laughs> or not. Next time we're back again. Ah, cloudy, 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 messy weather. Really, <laughs> not so nice. But yeah, here we are. Um, for those watching, uh, didn't watch the daily motor vlog yesterday and uh, on Sunday or no, Saturday. Who cares? I'm uh, just telling you. I had the opportunity to um, borrow the Holly Life Wire for three days and want to do a daily motor vlog, uh, share my experience. Uh, show you how it is the real world experience not just uh, only do a test ride kind of uh, ride around the block and tell you oh, it's awesome it's awesome uh, or kind of bullshit now i really i've done almost 500 kilometers this is 300 miles on it the last few three days just commuting maybe a little bit more uh, i just um yeah and before we talk all all about the the, the plastics and, the, and, the, and the, the bad charging experience I showed you, uh, let's talk about the benefits, about the cool things. I really, really, really why I like this bike, um, why this is a really cool, um, or let's say why this is the right direction to go electric uh, instead of uh, any all the bullshit, bullshit. You know, this is a solid made motorcycle. But first up. <laughs> Who I am charging Harley Davidson for the for for making a motorcycle? I'm Lexi, and I do motor vlogs on electric motorcycles for almost a little bit more than a year, and I've rode uh, over 50,000 kilometers. This is more than 30,000 miles on electric motorcycles. Um, Suron, K Kalk, um all zero motorcycles, zero D, uh, FX, DSR, SR, SRA, um, SRF, SRS, and all the Energica bikes, uh, the uh, SS9, the EVA, and the, uh, I'm an owner of the Energica Ego uh, as well. I was a previous owner as a, um, a, zero mo a zero SR. So I have a clue. I have tried different electric motorcycles and owned two already. So I, I have a clue how, how it is to go electric. I know the struggle with charging. I know the struggle with other things, but I also know the benefits uh, when, when it's about going electric. And to tell you, you, maybe you saw the reaction uh, on Saturday when I picked up. It was so weird, <laughs> but weird in a, cool, in a cool way. So let's dive into this topic. First up, I want to answer some, some stuff people ask me on YouTube. Yeah, DJ Duck, thank you for your uh, reply or for your comment. Yeah, he's uh, talking about the high price. Um, and he, of course, he likes also Energica more. To be honest, I'm an Energica fanboy. And nothing comes close to Energica, of course not. <laughs> no, but tell you, <laughs> this is not, this is not bad motorcycle, anyways. But um, about the high price in in the U.S. Uh, because yeah, Trump made this uh, stuff here about the fees when you go when you when you export it to Europe, when you ship it to Europe, uh, you have to pay 20% fees on top so you have a 29 or 30,000 in the US and here in Switzerland you, you, you pay about uh, 35 or 36 grand for this motorcycle this is this is not this is just because the politics of, of, of the US have this export fees it's it, it's not yeah this is why the motorcycle here in Switzerland or Europe is so expensive that's a little bit yeah let me say a downside but this is uh, 
on all Harley Davidson motorcycles is 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 all the same. Um, that's that's really downside. But if you live in the U.S., this is not a topic for you. Yeah, yeah. So so next next comment was. Oh, first thing, well, if I if I if I if I pronounce it right, sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, he want to know about um, dealer coverage, servicing, and warranty stuff. So this is the topic I talked also in uh, different videos from uh, when I do uh, daily commuting or daily motor vlog on Energica. It's kind the motorcycle brand itself. It's it's let that be by the side if you have a bad dealer you have a bad experience if you have a great dealer it, you have the best best experience if you have a messy bike with a great dealer you're a, you're a lucky customer no doubt if you have a a, a superior motorcycle with with a, with a with a really badass <laughs> really badass dealer you have the worst experience you can have the worst experience it will be a nightmare no doubt so this is in general I can say I, I based on my experience over 20 years I owned different motorcycles internal combustion or off-road uh, motocross machines already this is what I can say, say uh, all about but I'd have to tell you <laughs> the dealership or the motorcycles here in Solothurn look to be honest I'm a youtuber I asked them hey can I borrow the motorcycle to do YouTube I never bought something over there. I never bought. I'm not a customer. He make not one single cent about me. Of course, I do YouTube. But my first impression was when I was going there, just was asking. He had, he had no idea. I was just walking straight into the shop and uh, asking, hey, can, can I do a video about the Harley? And see, this, yeah. I tell you, my first experience was he was kind best friend best motive friend and want to help you out in any ways so and i never heard something bad about this motorcycle shop i guess as a customer or whatever you are always welcome and they will care, take care about any problem on on this motorcycle on, on any harley maybe some kind it's a personal thing it's not the, 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 the choice of your dealer maybe then go to the next one if he is kind cooler a younger guy or the other is you know even more old-fashioned I don't know it's up to you but we talk about we talk about the basics you know aerodynamics map <laughs> yeah it's a cruiser <laughs> don't get me wrong no windshield at all what I like about sports bike is you can when it's cold you can tuck down and uh, have a cre uh, heated grips and yes they warm at night or when when weather changes and it's getting cold this is a cruiser or street fighter, whatever you want to call it. You have the front wind and all the cold, all the, uh, the rain, everything, bam, right into your face. <laughs> but it's uh, it's not it's not bad. It's a good. It's just because the cruiser motorcycles. That's that's it with the cruisers, you know. And overall, overall, I never felt, yeah, I never had uh, felt danger or or was was yeah felt uncomfortable or anything the motorcycle on the on the tech the the suspension the the, the drivetrain everything uh the stiffness of the of the frame everything is is really really very good done it's the price worth definitely um i really felt safe even in twisty corners with that bike it's it's really well done you have a a really a good Feeling what's going on the tire, a like very good feedback uh, from the motorcycle. Um, talk, talk, of course. People think, oh, so much talk, you can't ride, it's, it's, it's dangerous at all. No doubt, with this motorcycle, you can annihilate the 0 to 100, you annihilate a, a double R or a, an R1, whatever comes uh, crossing your way. With that torque, you will annihilate any other uh, sports bike, no doubt. You can watch on YouTube uh, drag races with the with the Harley Lifewire, dude. Tell you this bike rips them off. C build quality is very well done. I told you I don't like the plastics. That's by the way, but the overall package, uh, riding, uh, riding, whatever, and snow, whatever, blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah. Now I really like it. Uh, it's it's a it's a yeah, it's a lightweight, nimble cruiser. Even my grandma can can ride with it. So, because the throttle response, as I told you, 
it's it's not going from here to here BAM kick it in the power and you, you're going off. No it's no it's you, you can easy adjusting the torque. Even my grandma could ride this motorcycle. Tell you no no story. Even my grandpa could tell uh, could ride it because look I can foot flat flat foot on both sides easy way and it's easy to handle it's nimble has a low center of gravity so if you watch the spec sheet and think oh no it's so heavy I, I don't know if I could ride this motorcycle because it's so heavy I tell you you can because it's so easy to handle lightweight it feels lightweight I, I'm 1 meter 75 tall uh, so absolutely average if you're one, 180 or taller Maybe the bike is a little bit small for you. You ha better you go for a test ride before you buy it blind like me. I buy the Zero SR and the Energica Ego. I buy them these bikes blindly. Never done a <laughs> test ride before. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said if you're taller than 180, please first go on a test ride just to check out if it suits for your body size and and yeah <laughs> or not. <laughs> just yeah, want to talk to you. You know, I, I, I'm, the, I'm the guy who likes sports bike. I'm sports bike and this is why I uh, bought the Energica. I never would buy this motorcycle for me personnel. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. Uh, because I don't like cruisers. I like sports motorcycles. But this is a sports cruiser. Bam, has a lot of punch. And for people who like a cruiser... This is the perfect motorcycle, tell you. I'm impressed, overall package, I'm impressed. Um, there's some problems with the charging, I, I showed you, I will talk later, which should be solved, which can be solved. It's not, this is not uh, forever, this is temporary. And another point, which is really a big plus on his motorcycle. It, well, I was impressed, the highway range is insane good on this motorcycle. I don't know it's uh, how how they made it. They made it super efficient, and you have a super good highway range. Uh, because of the bad aerodynamics, I I, I expected you to have a less highway range. I, I, I thought, yeah, highway will kill the range, brutal, and it's not. It's not. I, I'm I'm really impressed about highway range. Or all the aspects. A ho someone who likes the bike, they will buy it anyways because. Buying a motorcycle, you can buy the cheapest one. That's economic, that's smart, but anything in a higher price range is just stupid. <laughs> yeah, of course. To buy an electric motorcycle, Energica Eco, for me, it, it was stupid, but I felt it was right. It is my bike. I want to have it. This is my bike. This is right. And if you feel that with this motorcycle, go for test ride if you feel it. This is your bike. This is not a bad choice. This is a really good choice. Tell you, tell you. If I would like Cruiser, if I would like Harley Davidson, I would buy it instantly. No doubt, no doubt. So, but now, let's talk about the downsides. Oh, oh I, I really hate to this topic. I, yeah, I, I, I told you this one, the plastics. I know you can watch Yahama, Suzuki, BMW, auto manufacturers, wherever they come from, China, US, uh, from Mars, wherever the motorcycle were, were made. They all, back in the days, it was chrome and steel and was uh, everything was bling bling. Today, most brands replaced all this, 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 yeah, cover stuff here, here, here with plastic parts. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it and of course you can replace it or do whatever you want but yeah just want to talk about downside you can change that for additional price whatever it's up to you no big deal just want to say it and then the worst worst topic I really don't like to talk about because you know, don't get me wrong I don't hate uh, Harley Davidson. Besides, I'm an Energica fanboy, whatever. <sighs> Look, I want to support electric motorcycles with my channel. Don't get me wrong, but I had the worst charging experience with that motorcycle. 
I sorry for sorry to say that. I so really sorry for. I don't like to say that. I want to want to show you, a mo yeah, electric motorcycle which works, which works. Yeah, man, bam, you can plug it in. Power to the to the battery, man. <laughs> and at the end, it, that was it was not. I had over and over and over charging issues. Let's be honest. I do the daily motor vlog, 30k review on the Energica, and I had also charging issues. I, sh I show you the real world experience. I don't cover anything. I just be honest. Look, that's it. And I tell you, this charging problem is not the fault of, of, of Harley Davidson. As I told you, the manufacture of charging stations and manufacture of vehicles, even it's a, a motorcycle, it's, it's a car manufacturer, whatever. They should work better together. They should be br brothers and sisters and work together. Watch Tesla. You can plug it in, walk away. It's done. No, no big deal. It works. Single manufacturer, they make it possible, no doubt. Different manufacturer. And tell you, in the future, it will not, it will not getting better. We will have more manufacturer and charging station. We will have more vehicle manufacturers, more CCS, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You see, the problem is, is, is growing. And if Manekes and the German idiots, which invented that CCS standard bullshit crap, they messed it up. Tell you they messed it up. This is why the charging problems exist. It's not because Harley Davidson messed it up. It's because the, the, the CCS protocol is bullshit. And they should make that better. So the manufacturers can make it make it work. That's That's the problem. And I tell you, this problem can be solved the next one or two years uh, and must be solved. Uh, or I can, dude, I'm going to kick them. I can kick them ass really bad. <laughs> so I just want to let you know what's the real deal. That's it. That's it. Did I have fun with the motorcycle? Yes, definitely. It was a bliss to ride. It was really surprisingly... Uh, it's, it's a cool motorcycle anyways. And I tell you, if the charging problem is solved, damn y'all, you will have a blast with that. No doubt, no doubt. It's cheap to run. It's it's very, very, very reliable. And it's in, in, it's, it's insane, cr crazy fun to ride. So, yeah, what are talking here? Let's go for a ride. Bring the motorcycle back to the dealer. Yeah, here we are. Welcome back home, motorcycle. Oh yeah, ooh, who's that sexy looking sports motorcycle? Oh yes, it's awesome, man. So yeah, here we are. Yeah, I will miss that motorcycle a little bit because it was it was really cool to ride. Now let's get let's bring it back to the dealer. Yeah, we are at the dealer, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, yeah, let's give the key back to the dealer. And yeah, hey, uh, whatever. So, back on Energica. I'm so excited. Yeah. Ah, 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 so awesome. Riding my electric beast again. But, ah, uh, wait a second. Yeah, set everything right. So, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, I love it, I love it, <laughs> I love it, <laughs> whoopsie, ah, I love this bike, I love it, <laughs> oh yeah, so, whatever, hey, I just want to do a short recap, because I talked to the dealer here, when I brought back the motorcycle, he, he checked it, is everything okay? Maybe, yeah, you know, never know. <laughs> and we talked about the charging issues, of course, and he knew the problem. And uh, as, as also as Energica, they investigated, and all the car manufacturers have the same problem. Tell you, charging sometimes doesn't work. The motorcycle, the Harley Life, I, I, I really have to protect this. <laughs> Uh, brand for that. It, it's an awesome motorcycle. I, I really like to ride it Besides I'm an energy fanboy. This is This is the 
biggest compliment I can give to, no, no, to a brand saying you, you, did a, you did a great motorcycle. Whoopsie! And yeah, well, how, how should I say? And they knew the problem and they will push that forward. Probably next summer this problem is solved. And he also tol uh, told me that the issue that's charging interrupt uh, after six minutes. This is, this is a well-known issue. And just want to let you know, they know that the issue they care about. It's not, uh, I don't care. Now, main thing, you buy the, ele the electric motorcycle, you make, you make the profits and afterwards, we don't care. No, really not. They really take care about it and take care about customers. They don't even really let you down because of this. And yeah, I just want to let you know that. And so far for this. And yeah, of course, I'm so excited to be back on my energy car. It's, oh, I love this bike. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like a drug. It's like a drug. I had it for, I did, uh, I did uh, ride it for three days, and now, oh yeah, man, it's so awesome. It's so awesome. Just want to let you know, short recap about these charging issues. Um, this should not stop your enthusiasm or yeah, your excitement for this uh, for the life wire. And so yeah, definitely Lexi out. Fo see you next time. <laughs>